In this video, we will show you how to display spray particles in Converge datasets. To display spray particles, you must use the Scatter Zone layer. By default, Scatter is enabled for all zones, so the first thing we want to do is turn Scatter off for all of the zones except for the particle zones. We also want to change the symbol shape to points as they are the fastest to render. Now we will turn on the Scatter Zone layer on the sidebar. The spray particles show up partway through the simulation, so we'll drag the time slider to a point after the spray is injected. Here, you can see the scatter symbols peeking out of the surface slightly. Turning on translucency allows us to see the spray particles in the interior. Now, we'll set up the scatter symbol coloring based on the DP film flag variable. To set up the coloring, go into the zone style dialog and right-click on color for the particle zone. We will select contour group 1, which is currently assigned to mass. Then, launch the contour details dialog and change the variable assignment to DP film flag. The film flag is an integer with values from 0 to 5, which represent the different parcel properties. Shown here are the meanings for each film flag integer value. So, we'll set the contour levels from 0 to 5 with 6 total levels. We can create more distinct colors by selecting a better color map, such as Qualitative Dark 2. Finally, to align the labels with the colors, we go into the Number Format dialog on the Legend tab and use the sub notation for prefix and suffix. This concludes the tutorial for plotting spray particles for Converge datasets. You can download a free trial of TechBlot360 from our website. Thank you for watching.